Hi, everyone. Look at my shirt. How cute is that? Como ya la vi, solita, pues me pregunté ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita, eso fue descomunal Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es Hola and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally or welcome to Time with Tally if you've never been on my channel before. My name is Tally, I do fitness, lifestyle, beauty, and whatever I feel like doing on this channel type of content. The end of the year is approaching and I decided I'm going to do a video that a couple of you have asked for on my Instagram. Whilst also letting you know some of the things that I learned this year that I will be taking with me into 2024. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I have anywhere from a 2A to a 3B type of wave or curl in my hair. I have definitely found it really difficult trying to style multi-patterned curls slash waves in my hair my whole life. But I think I finally found something that I feel like works the best for me. When it comes to trying to find balance within having volume whilst also so reaching definition. My hair is pretty fine, but I do have a lot of hair and it's pretty long. So sometimes even though I do have a lot of hair because it's not thick itself and likely more porous, not only just due to the thinness, but also I've also colored my hair. Putting on a bunch of heavy and thick products that are viscous definitely adds a lot of weight to my hair and it brings down my curls. First and foremost, I did already shower, my hair was wet, and I did apply a leave-in conditioner, but I only put in probably like a quarter size amount, and then I brushed that through my hair. Here is the secret to what allows me to still maintain volume. I wait for my hair to dry a little. I know, it's crazy. I have found that my hair is actually a lot easier to style once it's at least 40 to 50% dry already because it already gives me some volume. I do like big hair. The only way I have found to be able to kind of achieve that is by allowing it to dry somewhat and then applying my product. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna section off and I'm going to brush my hair and put in some gel and whilst I do that to my whole head, I will tell you some of the things I learned this year. Look like Chicken Little. If someone makes you question how they feel or where you stand in their life, just know they aren't for you. That goes for any friendships, relationships, family. Behavior is a language, but sometimes you're not open to listening to it. People are telling you exactly how they feel about you with how they treat you. So what are you gonna do about it? I like to brush up in a way to allow for volume. Having a scarcity mindset will keep you in a cage for forever if you let it. A lot of things are because you allow. So instead of thinking, I'm never gonna find someone like this again, what if I don't find someone like this again that makes me feel this way, or that I feel about this way, or that treats me this way? I'm gonna need y'all to start actually looking at the negatives too in people and standing on that. It's not an illusion, it's not a joke, that's who they are. You need to shift your perspective into having abundance, knowing that what is for me is out there somewhere. And I don't just mean in relationships. If I do feel as if it starts to get too dry, I do spray it a little bit, just to still have a little bit of wetness so it's still malleable. Pray to God that it cooperates. Nine times out of 10, my hair doesn't cooperate and I end up actually just looking a little homeless. The frizz is real. I'm gonna go plop it now. Now we wait. I usually wait anywhere from between like 15 to 20 minutes, something like that. Another thing I'm bringing into the new year is remembering that I'm never gonna be too much of the right person. Another thing I'm also working on is knowing I'm not always gonna be right. And having emotional discipline is not a bad thing. Some people may not wanna hear this, but we can't break down all the time. A belief I'm bringing into 2024 is a man without self-control or discipline is not a man to me. Personal opinion. Release expectations. It'll hurt you a lot less. Stop cringing at your past behavior or past decisions because cringing really is just a form of shame. This one sucked to learn because I like to be Delulu and being my feelings and live in unicorn land. Logic can save you a broken heart and wasted time. You have to find a space of synergy between your heart and your mind. And I feel like that's the longest battle in history. If you are not a priority for them and they feel like they can find better, let him. Silence is a response. Next up, we're gonna blow dry. In this part, I try my best to not touch my hair with the tool whatsoever. Once I have a little bit of a cast going on, and if you don't know what a cast is, a cast is basically once you have gel in your hair and it starts to feel a little crunchy, I'm gonna actually put in an oil or serum. My ashy ass hands, oh my God. I just scrunch it. Like a psychopath. This allows the gel to kind of break up and now you can kind of manipulate your hair a little more. I'm gonna go in with a diffuser again. But this time, baby, we touching it. 
The biggest thing is making sure your roots are dry. Do me and yourself a favor. Take uncertainty and inconsistency as an answer. That's all the answer that you need. It's an absolutely not, it's a no. You also can't expect you from others. People need to grow in their own time. You can't make them grow. And the thing is with that many times, growth, it has to come with a certain level of willingness and openness to be able to take that trauma and mold it into something beautiful. And many people don't have the willingness to change and to grow. It's too scary for them. You can love people from a distance. They don't have to go with you into 2024. Anyone that allows your soft spot for them to be a doorway for disrespect to you doesn't really love you. Let go of control. It's the one thing that's keeping you stuck. Safety and security a lot of the times is what's keeping people in a cage. I think life is truly what happens when you're in those moments of fear and you do the things that scare you. My hair is still like 20% damp, so I actually will just let it air dry. I'll come back to y'all in about an hour or two and I'll probably zhuzh it up and you'll see the final product. And I'll leave you with my last three, but yet my most important things that I learned this year. We back. It's been about an hour. Got a zhuzh at the roots. I do like to tease sometimes too, by the way. I think I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of hairspray in it and then maybe tease it a little bit. In 2024, the last three that I will definitely be bringing with me will be this. There's no such thing as the wrong time. Your personal standards and boundaries don't have to succumb to the fact that maybe you haven't found someone just yet. Never settle for anything less than what you really want or deserve. Because sometimes even the things that we want is actually less than what we deserve. So if you have that vision in your head of what you want in someone or a future for yourself, that's what you go for. And lastly, but probably my most favorite, you need to know yourself better than anyone else could know you. So get to know yourself. That way, your decisions now will actually help your future self instead of hurting yourself and causing yourself more pain. That is basically as good as my hair gets. Sometimes I do allow myself to use my curling iron and I can just go in for a couple pieces that I still feel like maybe don't have any shape at all. But I think today I'm just gonna rock the natural look. A couple pieces of frizzy, I don't worry about it too much. Just let it do its thing. Let it be a little wild and crazy. I haven't put my hair to the side in a while. Maybe I'll try that out today. Anyways, thank you all for joining me today. Thank you for listening into the things that I have learned this year and I definitely will be bringing with me next year and also watching my curly hair routine. And I'm so thankful for you for spending time with me today. Not only do I hope to see you guys in the next video, but I also hope to see you in the next year as well. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye!